guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here you are welcome in today's video i want to talk about 10 reasons why a lot of businesses are failing in cameroon 10 reasons why your restaurant fail why your poultry fail why your electronic store collapse why your provision store fail all these reasons why your school is failing all these reasons analyze together will give you a reason why your business failed so if you can work on them and then in your next venture you'll be very successful so top 10 reasons why most businesses are failing in camera number one is lack of proper planning and strategy now a lot of people start businesses in Cameroon because you see your neighbor doing well in the business you see your friend doing well in the business because somebody told you about the business without you doing what proper planning and your strategy every time you see somebody striving in a particular business it's because they have done their planning and they also have a strategy for that not just strategy but they have a goal for their business so copying another person's business without planning out your own business outlining the goals of your own business could be a reason why your business actually failed can you agree with me or you disagree if you don't plan a business if you don't strategize a business if you don't have a goal for that business you start a business on a wrong motive because somebody else doing it your business is definitely going to fail and this is the problem with most cameroonians somebody my friend is making millions in a restaurant my friend is doing so well in their hairdressing my friend is doing so well in their salon my friend bar is thriving and then you start your own bar without planning without strategy you will fail number two reason why a lot of businesses fail in cameroon is what insufficient market research now let's say i want to start up a poultry farm i'll ask myself how much is the cost of uh, one chick in the market and how many days do they sell how much is going to cost me to start up this business where is my market who is going to buy this product when i'm done with poultry farm after 45 days your and your chicks are ready your animals are ready to take them to the market who are you going to sell to them who are your target audience who are you targeting with your product you start a restaurant you take a restaurant and you start a restaurant around a school you say one plate of food costs 2500 francs around a school can a student afford a plate of food for 2500 francs yes of course they are rich students but how many percent you take a very beautiful and a lucrative restaurant you start up in monia you want to buy monia you take a very beautiful hotel of yours and you open it in my 16 who is going to take hotel at my 16 so sometimes if you don't do research you don't do proper research to know where to put that business who is in need of your product what solution are you solving it could be the reason why your business is failing number three limited access to financing a lot of Cameroonians are suffering i will tell you this one for free you don't need to pay me to this one is free a lot of Cameroonians lack proper financing to their projects if you just dare go to a bank to take a loan from a bank let me tell you the bank interest let me name a few you are going to pay for a form from a for the manager from b for the cashier from c for the like they are going to bring you like five forms you pay all those five forms and then at the end of the day the money they are going to give you the interest rate is so high that only you thinking about the interest rate it will frustrate you it will frustrate you so let's say you take about five million and you have to pay that five million let's say for maybe depending on your business maybe one year or two years or three years depending you will see that there the more you stay without paying that money the interest rate can accumulate to an extent whereby the bank will just collect your house for collateral and will disappear with it so limited access to finance is another problem why a lot of businesses are failing in cameroon let's say for example you want to set up a restaurant and you have planned very well you have a good strategy and you know that if you start up that restaurant with maybe five million francs in the nearest future you'll be able to give that bank their money and you'll be fine but you go to the bank and they'll deny you access to money so sometimes people even go back to their meeting house to take money from there yes because cameroon bank because your neighbor went to the bank and mess up you too you are you are going to also mess up so they're not going to give you money so having access to money in cameroon financing see there are a lot of small small people that have heard that they have small small cooperatives and all that whereby you can have a business plan you go and submit a business plan to them and then they're able to finance that project i don't know any I just hear it but i don't know any what happened is that when these financial sectors come into cameroon that's their motive they want to help a lot of cameroonians 
um start up businesses and make money from it but now what happened is that when they come they'll do that to the first person they'll do it to the second person and then from the third person they want to turn it into a business you understand they want to turn it into a business whereby you have to pay them a percentage for them to process your documents and give you that money and in that money they are giving you they're still going to be earning a lot of commission yes yeah, so that is what is frustrating a lot of Cameroonians. Number four, inadequate infrastructures. We have a lot of individuals in Cameroon who have private schools, but when you go there with your children, you look at the buildings, you look at the environment, it's not really proper for learning, it's not friendly. So at the end of the day, a lot of parents, because maybe one child has an accident in that school, they are going to remove their children from that school. And as a result of that, that school is your business, it will fall. A lot of hospitals don't have good infrastructure and they don't have good equipment. And as a result of that, when women come there and they give birth, especially in maternity section, you realize that maternity, people who are, have malaria, people who have wounds, people who have been operated, all in a very big world like that. At the end of the day, that business will definitely collapse because somebody cannot give birth and they are all in the same place because the structures are not really there to accommodate the population so it will fail secondly another um, example is a restaurant when you have a restaurant and you don't have the basic infrastructure that people will come there they are comfortable you know and all that all these things is going to make your business to fail so inadequate infrastructure is another reason why most business people in cameroon their businesses are collapsing every single day like i said proper example schools hospitals these structures, they are not well constructed. They are really suffering. Either in one way or the other, when patients go there, they'll end up running and they'll go and better chop up in one place where everything is there. So as a result of that, you that you have very good services, but you don't have the infrastructure, people will stop coming to your place. They'll rather go to where they have inadequate services, but they have good infrastructure. Because people like this, they, they like to be in the hospital bed and they post a picture. People like to be sick, yeah, but they console themselves, very good selfie. Imagine you take a picture and your on your selfie, there's a very big slap on the wall where they kill mosquito and all that. So, so yeah. The next point, which is number five, high cost of business registration and taxes. Yes, yes. This morning while I was coming to work, I saw council members selling people's stores and shops you all know what is going on right now in these regions where we are i don't actually want to talk about that much in my videos but a lot of people are going through a lot but yet the taxes keep going up every single day to register a business document at first to register um small and medium-sized enterprise limited liability company sole proprietorship now to reach the end of this business the amount of money has escalated again so discouraging a lot of people from starting businesses instead most people they are quitting their businesses you see that for example when taxation comes out or patent comes out, people will be locking their stores or run away and at the end of the day they're not able to meet up with their rent they're not able to meet up with the taxes and all that so taxi system is really discouraging a lot of people and registration let me talk about the registration system to register um, documents in Cameroon, if you want them to be very fast, you have to take a lawyer. Yes, you have to take a lawyer, somebody that will go there with their black suit, their white shirt and their tie, and then will threaten the people on seat. Because if you go by yourself as an individual, you will take like three months to four months to register your document. But these are things that if you hire a lawyer, you can get there within one week, the ones with your document, then they will call them now to come and even collect the documents. But you, you carry all your document, your business plan, your localization plan, your money, you go. Only to pass it, they will just be looking at you like, who is this person, who is this person? So... All these things contribute to killing a lot of businesses in Cameroon. Number six is lack of skilled workers. Uh -huh. You want to open a restaurant in Cameroon. I don't know why I love talking about restaurants that much in my business. Maybe I'm seeing myself owning another restaurant again in the future because I had a restaurant before. Now, a lot of people in Cameroon, you want to open a business in Cameroon. Eh? You go and hire your wife's sister because you don't want to pay them. You want to pay them 20,000 francs monthly, your wife's sister. Your wife's sister have no experience in that business. You have a restaurant, you go and hire your auntie in the village to come and cook. Your auntie will come and cook that village style for Boya. Who the chop that can chop? Lack of skilled workers. You have a barbing salon that you have opened. You don't take trained workers, maybe because they are 
their, their salaries are very high or their rates are very high so you go and take a baba from one village one village like that and the baba will come i'll say shave me this hair that the baba will just come and bab my hair clean everything you understand lack of skilled workers i've seen a lot of people in cameroon you are importing stocks from abroad instead of taking somebody that you'll be paying them a certain amount of money for them to run your business you go and take your relative to come and run that business your relative who is not skilled they don't know anything about accountability they don't know anything about um, daily masters cars inventory purchases taxation declarations they don't know anything you go and take them now they'll just be doing anyhow they don't even know how much is the cost price of a product how much to sell the product how much they'll just be selling them the things anyhow and then another thing is that because you don't want to hire skill workers you go and hire a gang of arm robbers there is somebody that i know eh i don't know if i say this one in my video those people are watching my videos that person is sending this broken eh when they are offloading it from the car because me i am up stairs i used to sit downstairs people who carry television i see they are going to the store they'll just come and pass one corner eh somebody will just carry a, a, a tv like this you think the person is going back to the store the people just will be a corner inside a corridor disappear with tv somebody will carry a, a how is it called granite oh yeah like this they are already from the car oh. the person will enter the corridor and give it to another person another person is going with it even in douala i've seen a situation whereby they are offering a car in douala eh they will remove carton of products they to take it to the warehouse, the person is going like, as if you are going towards the warehouse, or just we call like this, give it to your next person and they disappear with it. If you don't hire skill workers that you give them your inventory, this is what I am shipping to Cameroon. You are in charge of everything. When you do it like that, those people will know the kind of people to also hire to work with them. But you just come around, you say, Bambe, 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 come and offload so that you know that at the end of the day, you buy the one bottle of beer. You give them a one stick cigar. That's how before they take that one bottle of beer and that one stick cigar, you would think that you are cheating it because they are unskilled, but they are going to show you pepper at the end of the day. So, most people in Cameroon don't like to hire skilled workers. They don't like it. You like to go and hire your own people because you also want to pay cheap level. At the end of the day, your business will collapse. Number seven is inconsistent. Uh, no, number seven is limited access to technology and innovation. Things are changing these days. Of recent, I saw a company also in Boya where they are advertising their poultry products online. They, they have a chicken for sale, both fresh one, live chicken and uh, frozen chicken for sale. They are advertising it online. Before, it's very difficult. But a lot of people these days, they are taking their businesses online. And some people think that maybe they are just chasing the cloud and all that. Cameroon is fast growing. So if you don't have all these measures in place whereby you have access to new technology, you follow the trend, you also put things in place. You see people, at first, when you enter a provision store, the store is even smelly. You want to buy uh, sugar in the morning, you cover your nose because tomato is rotten, it's smelling, egg break overnight, a rat break that egg is smelling. But now most Cameroonians are trying to build chefs in their stores, make it look more beautiful so that it will attract people there. But your own, you still want to put beans on the floor, put rice on the floor, all these things like that, you know? You know? Limited access to technology, watch videos on TikTok, watch videos on YouTube, how to set up a store, how to present a store and all that. So, lack of knowledge. Number... I think number eight or number nine at this point, weak market demand. Weak market demand. You cannot be producing something that is not what people need at that point. You cannot come to Cameroon right now. Let's say now, during during this period in Cameroon, like I said before, I've made a video on products that you should import into Cameroon that you make high sales. You come now into Cameroon during the maybe when people are going for holidays, you start selling books at that time. Who is going to buy? At the end of the day, before the season for books come in, you're already tired because maybe you've already spent three months into the business when it was holiday, nobody's buying. Now, before you school resume, when you want to pick up, up again, you want to pick up again in that business, you see that you're really losing motivation. So if you produce the wrong product at the wrong time, without meeting the market demand, your business is going to fail. You cannot go and be producing, um, let's say, um, what kind of product can I use as an example right now? Maybe you're going to be producing granola oil in January. Who is buying granola oil in January? A lot of people are buying granola oil in September, October, November, December. This is just an example. Yes, September, October, November, December. The, 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 the demand for granola oil is very high. Because people want that period, that's when cocoa money is coming out. Cash crops are coming out for people and people want to use it. So you you go and be putting your own granola oil in January. After people have spent all their money for Christmas and New Year, who buy it? So 
weak market demand is a reason why a lot of businesses are failing in Cameroon. Finally, my last point is what? Ineffective marketing and sales strategy. Most people have very lucrative businesses in Cameroon. And I mean very lucrative, I mean very lucrative. But inefficient marketing. When you see people going on a radio station, these days, eh, one thing that is so real, if you're watching me from Cameroon, please, let me know the comment section. If you watch any TV program, you'll hear Maxim Voclamidia, Low Spam Cam, Poor Erection, all those things like that. At first, traditional herbalists, you only ask by your uncle that will take you there or your auntie. But now, these people are coming on media. They come on media, they come on television, they go on TV screens, they have Facebook pages, they have TikTok pages, they have YouTube channels where they go there and are able to market, they, they, they create videos to market themselves, you understand? Not like some of us that will create these videos like for future use, because most of my videos I'm creating there for future use. I have a, a project, so most of the videos I'm creating there for future use, like not now. So when you have a business and you don't effectively market that business or you don't have a marketing strategy, a marketing technique, that business will not grow. And then one thing that also happens is that most Cameroonians, they don't want to tell people about their businesses because they don't want people to be begging them for money. So you'll be abroad now and I'm in Cameroon. You are selling fridge. You know, say Stephanie, I have fridge in Cameroon because you are afraid that I'll tell you that dash me the fridge. <laughs> you understand? At the end of the day, I don't know that you have a fridge and I'm not recommending you to somebody else. Like right now, I have people that I know about their businesses and I have recommended on in fact a lot of people to them. Somebody just tell me, Oh, do you know somebody that is selling this thing? I say this person. Oh, do you know somebody that is selling this? I say this person. Even those that I've talking about drop shipping, I have linked up a lot of people for drop shipping just because somebody told me about their business. So if you have any business, don't fail to market it, don't fail to strategize, have a strategy for marketing. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like these kind of videos, share it, comment in the comment section. Let me know which part of this video interests you the most. And until now, I'll see you in my next video.